Hi guys, today we will learn how to sew a patch onto your sash using needle and thread. The items you will need are a pair of scissors, some thread, a needle, which is right here, some masking tape, your patch, and your sash. So first we'll cut some thread. I already cut mine. It's about two feet long and we're gonna thread it. So you, if you turn your, your needle sideways, it's easier to find the eye of the needle. And when you have the thread through, you wanna meet the two ends together and you to tie a, um, an overhand knot at the end. So you tighten that. You wanna cut the tail off and leave about half an inch. And you wanna make sure that your thread is even. So it's nice and taut. You're gonna take your patch, you're gonna put it where you'd like to sew it, around there, and then you'll take the piece of tape. Tape helps secure it on the front. Tape just like that. And then you wanna flip it on the back. So you take your needle and your thread, you find any starting point you want, you want to take a bit of the fabric and a bit of the ridge from your patch. And you want to just get the two together and just keep going around, leaving about, uh, about a quarter of an inch between each of your stitch. You keep going around. And just make sure each time you put the needle through your fabric and your patch, you want to give it a nice tight tug, not too tight, but just enough where your, your thread straightened out. So we'll keep going until we get to the other side where we started. Just make sure you kind of stay within that parameter. Don't get your thread too wide. And when it gets messy, just give it a tug. And just get your fabric, your, your thread all neaten. Rotate your sash as you're working. to the edge it's okay just try to contain your work within the edge and once you're back at the beginning you want to do half hitch knots so half hitch they go underneath where your last stitch is like that and then go through that circle and pull so you can do it about two or three times and that helps secure your your stitch at the end and then cut and leave about hmm, not much left of the tail that's what your work looks like from the back and then we remove the tape That's what your work looks like from the front. So these little stitches is, is what um, would happen if your stitches are too long from the back. So if you like to keep it um, contained and shorter, that's how we avoid seeing stitches in the front. Thanks for watching.